Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to our Sunday afternoon E-Church Online with Word Restoration Ministries. We are glad to have you on today. Listen, I need you to go ahead. Go ahead. Click share. Click invite. Go ahead and tag those names real quick. Go ahead and tag those names real quick, real quick. Go ahead and tag those names and, and let's get started. I'm telling you, we're getting ready to have a good time in the Lord. And I want you to go ahead and put your prayer request on. Go ahead and put your prayer request in the comment section. Invite, share, start a watch party. I'm telling you, we're, there is a word from the Lord. And so we're going to move forward into the service. And we're going to start off with our intercessory prayer. And then after that, we're going right into praise and worship. So I want you to go ahead and tag those names, tag those names, tag those names right there. Yes, go and tag those names, tag those names so you can invite, as our bishop would tell us, be the evangelist today. Yes, be the evangelist today. And Invite them on, invite them on, invite them on. Let's pray. God, we thank you and we give your name glory and we give your name all of the praise. We honor you for being so good and so kind to us. You are great and greatly to be praised. And so God, we honor you for being so great and so kind to us, for being wonderful and marvelous. God, for this is the day that you have made. Yes, Lord. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. God, we will give your name all of the praise and all of the glory that is due your name for you are great and greatly to be praised. And so, God, we magnify you. Now, God, go before us. God, we pray that something that is said or done, touch the lives of your people today. Change the hearts of your people today. In the name of Jesus, set the captive free today. In the name of Jesus, say this, the Lord rebuke you now. And the blood of Jesus against you now. We command you, loose your hold even right now. Loose your hold even right now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you will bind up Satan now. That you will bind of every witch and every warlock now in the name of Jesus we command you to loose your hold take your hands off of God's people God we come against the sickness now every sickness and infirmity every disease we come against it now we command the body to be healed be delivered and be set free now in the name of Jesus God we say yes and we say have your way we say have your way today as only you can we say move by your spirit and move by your power as only you can go God, you get the glory. God, you get the glory. God, you get the glory. God, you get the glory today. Out of our lives, you get the glory. And so, God, we magnify you and we give your name glory. Come on, Zion. We magnify you and we give you glory. Come on, right in your living room, just go to clap in your hands and Hallelujah. tell the Lord, thank you. And Hallelujah. we give you glory you, and we give you praise. Oh, God, and we give you glory and we give you praise. We tell you thank you today. Yes. Lord, we say thank you, thank you today, God. We say thank you today, We say thank you today, God, and we give your name glory. We give you glory today, and we bless your name. Come on, Zion. I wish you would help me push right up into there, and we tell you thank you today. We say thank you, Lord, thank you. We say thank you, and we say thank you today, God, and we give you glory. And we give you praise, God. We honor you and we bless your name today. What the devil thought that he won against us, we come to serve the devil. Know that we still got victory. God, you've given us victory. God, we rise this afternoon with victory in our mouth, with victory in our hands, and with victory in our feet today. God, we testify that the victory still belongs to you. Oh, God. God, and we give you glory. 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 And we bless your name today. And we give and we give you glory. And we bless you. And we thank you today, God, for being who you are. Thank you. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for being who you are. And we give you praise. In Jesus' name, will you clap your hands right up into there? Clap your hands and give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're moving. Our call to worship is found in Psalms 150, 
and it reads, praise ye the Lord, praise God and his sanctuary, praise him in the permanent of his power, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to his excellent greatness, praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the sultry and heart, praise him with the timbrel and dance, praise him with the string instruments and organs, praise him upon the loud cymbals, praise him upon the high sounding cymbals, let everything hey, that hath brought praise the Lord, praise ye the Lord. Now, if you got breath in your body, right in your living room, in your bedroom, I dare you to holler and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There will be glory. There will be glory after this. Come on. I dare you right there. Put your hands on it. Hey. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, there will be glory after this. There's gonna be victory. There will be victory after this. Yeah, yeah. And God will turn. He's gonna bring you out. Yeah, oh, yeah. After, you want to tell yourself after, after, 
glory after this. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It doesn't matter what the situation is. There will be glory after this. Hallelujah. God, we give your name the praise and we bless your name. We bless your name today. Hallelujah. Everybody know that I'm nothing without him. Come on right there. Begin to worship him. Hallelujah. Cause in him do I live, move, and have my being. Yeah. Oh, in him do I live, move, and have my being. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm nothing without you. God, I'm nothing without you. Said I'm nothing without you. Said I'm nothing without you. Say in him do I live. In heaven, oh, in him do I live, in heaven, oh, said I'm nothing without you, oh, I'm nothing without you. Oh, 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 I'm nothing without you. Said 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 I'm nothing without you. Say, breathe through me. Yes. And live in me. Yeah. Let your glory reign in me. Say, breathe through me. Come on, say it. Yeah, and live through me. Say, let your glory, let your glory reign. Oh, oh, in me. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, you want to say you live in me. Let your glory rise, yeah. Say in me. Oh, say I'm nothing without you. God, if you don't breathe within me, if you don't live in me. God, I need you to let your glory rise, yeah. In me. Oh, say I'm nothing without you. Say I'm nothing without you. God, I can't do this by myself. God, I can't do this on my own. Oh, 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 oh I'm done nothing without you, God. Yeah, hey, hey, I'm nothing without you. Oh, 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 said I'm nothing without you. So breathe through me and live in me. And let your glory, let your glory reign in me. Cause I'm nothing without you. Come on, right there, right there. Just begin to take a moment 
and to begin to declare that I'm nothing without him. Come on, right there, just begin to worship him. Worship him for who he is to you. Come on, right there, just begin to say it in your spirit. Come on, comment that in the line. Come on, comment that on the line and say, I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing, I'm nothing. I'm nothing without you. God, I can't breathe. God, I can't live without you. God, I need you to move like never before. God, I need your glory. I need your power. God, I can't do this thing by myself. I can't fight this fight by myself. But God, I need you. I need, I guess I might have typed that on the screen right now and say, God, I need you. God, I need you. God, I need you right now. God, I can't move. I can't live without you. God, I can't breathe without you. I need you to do it. I need you to get all in my finances. I need you to get all in my job. I need you to get all in my schooling. God, I need you to make a way out of nowhere. I need you to break through. I need you to break through for me. I need you to break through and break out for me. I need you to do it for me, God, because I'm nothing without you. Hey, I'm nothing without you. Yeah. Come on, I need somebody to go throughout this week and just worship him. When you worship him, God will begin to move for you. When you worship him, when you begin to worship him, God is going to blow your mind. He's going to blow your mind, blow your mind. Come on, come on. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. Like the comment section up and say, God, I'm nothing without you. Yeah. Yeah. I wish somebody would go ahead and declare it. Declare it, declare it, declare it, declare it. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, come on, we can take a couple of seconds and worship him. God, we give your name praise. Hey, we give your name glory. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. And we bless you. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. I'm nothing without you. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on, say it. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. Come on, say, I'm nothing without you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on right there, just begin to worship him. Hallelujah. Wow. Come on, worship him. Hallelujah. Come on, like the comment section up with your worship. Hallelujah. God, we thank you and we give you glory, God. Hallelujah. Come on right there, just begin to worship him. Come on, worship him. Ah, yeah, glory to your name. We bless your name today, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are. I cross the hardest desert. I travel near or far for your glory. Yes, God, I will do anything. Just to see you, to behold you as my King, say Lord, for your glory, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my King. Lord, come on, help me say it. My favor 
Say, Lord, please hey. hear my heart cry. I'm desperately waiting for you just to be where you are. Then I've crossed the hardest desert and I've traveled near a park. Yeah. For your, glory. For your glory, come on, say I will do, I will do just to see you, yeah, to behold you as, hey, yeah, say for your glory, come on, I dare you to comment for your glory in the comment section, I will do. Just to see you, yes. Hey, to behold you as my king. For your glory. God, have your way, God, yes. Just to see you. To behold you as my king. Oh, I want to be where you are. Gotta be, gotta be where you are. I want to be, want to be where you are. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be where you are. Want to be, want to be, want to be, want to be where you are. Yeah. Gotta be, gotta be. Gotta be where you are. Wanna be, wanna be where you are, yeah. 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 Said I wanna be where you are. Gotta be where you are. And I wanna be where you are. Yes. Yeah. Said I gotta be, I gotta be, gotta be. Gotta be, gotta be. Gotta be where you are, God. I can't God, I gotta be where you are, yeah. Hey, said I gotta be. Said I gotta be, yeah. Oh, for your glory, yes. I will do anything. Just to see you, to behold you as my king, for your glory, yeah, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king. Come on, right there. For oh, your glory, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king. I want to be where you are. Got to be where you are, want to be where you are, come on say, got to be where you are, yeah, want to be, said I want to be where you are, got to be where you are, peace is where you are. Love is where you are. Joy is where you are. Gotta be where you are. 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, somebody give God the glory and give God the praise. Hallelujah. We bless your name today and we bless you and we give you glory. We give you praise. Listen right up and through here. Thank you. I see you in the comment section. Thank you for sending your prayers. We're praying for you. Hallelujah. Right there. Just begin to worship God. Hallelujah. At this moment in time. Hallelujah. We're moving forward. We're asking that you will move into our giving it is our giving time hallelujah glory to god so if you would the cop is on the screen you can so be a dollar sign 313 w r m yes that's dollar sign w r m 313 w r m hallelujah glory to god amen amen hallelujah so you are you can so you can so be a givelify at www.givelify.com Dot com. Amen. Hallelujah. So make sure you go ahead and sow. Amen. We want to make sure. Hallelujah. It'll be a seed that leave your hand and never from your life. Amen. Glory to God. So let's just take a moment and give. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're getting ready to move. Amen. We're getting ready to move. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But right there, right there, can we go right in our giving? Right there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So right there, I'm going, we're going, we're going to give God praise because the Bible says that he loves us. You're forgiven. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So go ahead and go ahead and give, give you time to do that real quick, real quick. Hallelujah. 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 We get ready to move. But come on, let's, let's bless God in our giving. Hallelujah. Right in this moment, go ahead and invite somebody. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Real quick, real quick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We lift up our hands. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, we're giving, we're giving, we're giving. Hallelujah. Come on, we're giving tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. We're giving. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To our God. Come on, praise it. Come on, say, we worship, honor you, De declare nobody like you. We worship, honor you. We declare nobody like you. We worship, hey, adore you. We declare nobody like you. We worship, honor you. Hallelujah. Nobody like you. Come on, come on. So today. Real quick. Yes. We declare. Come on, nobody like him. 
Come on, we're blessing him today. Come on, this your time. This your time to be the evangelist. Come on, this your time. This your time. Come on, tag those names. Come on, I see your prayer request. We can ready to move into the word. Now the Carlton is gonna bring our word today. But come on, can we open up our hearts and praise God? Come on. I adore you. Nobody like you. Come on. Yes, God. Come on, we come to give God praise. There's nobody like our God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you. Adore you. We declare nobody like you. We worship you. Adore you. We declare nobody like you. Come on. Sit the news. Come on, we worship you. Nobody likes you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We declare that there's nobody like our God. We declare that there's nobody like our God. Listen, listen, we're getting ready to go into the word of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're getting ready to go into, amen, hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory to God, amen. Hallelujah, amen, um, amen, glory to God. We're getting ready to go into the word of God, amen. Elder Carlton is going to come, amen, and he's going to give us the word, amen, trying to switch these screens here, amen, bear with us, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, amen. He's going to come and bring the word. But right there, while we're, while we're getting that to together, if you will, go ahead and tag those names. Tell them, tell somebody that there is a word from the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Share those, tag those names. Amen. Go ahead and tag those names. Amen. While we're waiting on the screen to switch. Amen. We're praying those prayer requests. We're praying for um, Sister Wilson. We're praying for Brandon today. Amen. I see your prayer requests all the way from Florida. Sister Verena Perkins. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, Sister Farina Harrison. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Shante, love it. Bless you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sharon, we praying for you. Amen. Amen. See your prayer request. Hallelujah. Sister Kimberly Burks, God bless you today. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to make sure that we bless God for our leader and our bishop, none other than Bishop Dr. Dora Scott. Amen. We bless God for our leader. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're getting ready to switch over and we're going to let Elder Carlton go forth in the word of God. Amen. But we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elder. Hallelujah. Glory to God trying to switch these screen, screens here. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
wonderful Savior. Amen. We bless God for our leader. Amen. To all of the Levites, we bless God for you today. Hallelujah. We bless God for you today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Amen. While he's doing that, amen. Hallelujah. While he's doing that, amen. Give me one second. We're going to go. Let's do one of these good old numbers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody like old school music? Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to go back just a little bit. We're going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for being a keeper today. Thank you for being a keeper today, for being a wonderful keeper today. And so we bless him. We honor God today for his wonderful power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Hallelujah. Right before he comes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, keep me day by day. In a pure and perfect way, I want to live, I want to live on in the building of me by hand. Yes, keep my body strong so that I can do no wrong. Lord, give me grace just to rock this Christian race. Oh, in the building I made by hand. Oh, oh, oh. Said I'm just a strange stranger here. One more day. Traveling through this land, yes. I know there's a building, building somewhere old, and the building are made by hand. Lord, keep. Keep me day, keep me day by day, oh Lord, in a pure and a pure and perfect way, yes, say I want to live, I want to live on, on, on in the building of faith, building of faith. Elder, are we ready? Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is coming. There is a word from the Lord. Anybody glad for God's keeping power? Hallelujah. Thank God for keeping us day by day. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Anybody glad? Anybody glad that he's keeping us? He's keeping us right now. He's keeping us right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God for being a keeper and being a keeper of his word. Hallelujah. He's the keeper of our word and we bless him today and we honor him. Real quick, can you take a couple of seconds and just tell God thank you? Yes. Come on. Can you just take a couple of seconds and just tell God thank you right up and do there. If it had not been for his grace and his mercy, if it had not been for his grace and his mercy, where would we be? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Where would we be today? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that God is a good God. I'm so glad that he didn't leave me high and dry. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that he didn't walk away from me. Yes. I'm so glad that even when I was out of the wheel, I'm so glad that he kept me even when I didn't want to be kept, even when I said I quit, even when I said I, 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 I give up. I thank God for being a keeper. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Day by day, day by day, a brand new mercies I see every morning. Hallelujah. And so I thank God for his keeping. Hey, blessings be to Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for your keeping power. Your keeping power. And we bless him. Hallelujah. We bless you today. Glory to God. Oh, my God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're having a little technical difficulties, but that's all right. God is still good. Amen. He's still worthy of the glory. He's still worthy of the praise and all of the honor. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's a, he's a real good God. I say he's a real good God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wonderful Jesus. And we bless him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hey, blessings unto everyone on this day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, it's your friend, your servant, Elder C.T. Honey Jr. of Word Restoration Ministries, and I'm here and have the privilege and the honor to deliver you the word on today. First thing I would like to do is to give an honor to God, who's the head of my life, to the bishop of Word Restoration Ministries, the founder of Word Restoration Ministries, the Archangel of Word Restoration Ministries, Her Grace Bishop, Bishop Dora Scott, thank you so much for another chance, another opportunity to present unto the people of God, which we serve. Um, also would like to give an honor all to all the ministers of Word Restoration Ministry, Minister Lon Darius, uh, 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 Minister Brandy Poole, Evangelist Cobb, Elder Moss, Elder Nakia Pollard. I greet you in nothing but love and peace to the Mother's Board. Hey, we love the Mother's Board at Word Restoration Ministries. I greet you in nothing but love and peace. And then to the best thing that ever happened to me in my life, uh, the one that only the one that deals with me and all of my foolishness and everything that I do, who tolerates me, who made me better, made me to be a great father, made me to be a great uh, uh, leader, a great servant. My wife, Kelly Honey, I greet her with love and also as That's well, great. she has been there for me through the thick and thin. And that's who God has blessed me with. And I truly bless God for just allowing her to be in my part and make the change in my life. But guess what I want to do? I got a chance, the opportunity to present to you the word of the day. And I thank you for just taking out this time and listen to what, what God has been telling me in this time. Uh, I just got done finished doing the Congress of Servants and my God has been talking to me about 
the level of service that we are rendering. Been talking to me about that and telling me I need to, or telling us to get better in the way we serve. But let's dig into the text before we get more into it. So let's go talk about here. Let's go to Luke, all right? The seventh chapter, all right? Luke, the seventh chapter, verses two through seven. And also we're gonna talk about another verses as well for the hearing of the word of God. So I know you got your Bible, so take your time out right now, get your Bibles together, because I'm about to go into the word. Come on, Luke, the seventh chapter, verses two through seven. All right, come on, I know you can get it. I'm reading out of the English standard version, so my word it will be different from yours. So come on, get your Bible, get your Bible, get your Bible. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Also hit that like button, hit that share button right now because we are live right now on Facebook. Come on, hit that like button, hit that share button. All right, come on, I see y'all out there. I see you, I see you. Come on, bless you on today, blessing to you. Yes, yes, blessings on to you. I'm speaking it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, hit that like button. All right, there. I hope everybody got it now. We're going to Luke, the seventh chapter, verse two through seven. Uh, and then we're going to read some more scripture as well as we dig into this text even more. All right, come on. I hope no, everyone got it. I'm reading for the English Standard Version. So, okay, I'm letting you know, I'm reading for the English Standard Version. So, and it says in verse number two, and it says, now a Samaritan man had a, had a servant who was sick. Is it playing? Hey, blessings unto everyone on this day. This is the day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. A is your friend, your servant, Elder C.T. Honey Jr. of Word Restoration Ministries. And I'm here and have the privilege and the honor to deliver you the word on today. First thing I would like to do is to give honor to God, who's the head of my life, to the bishop of Word Restoration Ministries, the founder of Word Restoration Ministries, the archangel of Word Restoration Ministries, her grace, Bishop. Bishop Doris Scott, thank you so much for another chance, another opportunity to present unto the people of God, which we serve. Hey, I would also would like to give an honor all to all the ministers of Word Restoration Ministry, Minister Lon Darius, uh, uh, Minister Brandy Poole, Evangelist Cobb, Elder Moss, Elder Nakia Pollard. I greet you in nothing but love and peace to the Mother's Board. Hey. We love the Mother's Board at Word Restoration Ministries. Greet you in nothing but love and peace. And then to the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. And the one that only the one that deals with me and all of my foolishness and everything that I do. Who tolerates me, who made me better, made me to be a great father, made me to be a great uh, uh, leader, a great servant my wife kelly honey i greet her with love and also as well because she has been there for me through the thick and thin and that's who god has blessed me with and i truly bless god for just allowing her to be in my part and make the change in my life but guess what i want to do i got a chance the opportunity to present to you the word of the day and i thank you for just taking out this time and listen to what what god has been telling me in this time uh, i just got done finished doing the congress of service and my god has been talking to me about 
the level of service that we are rendering been talking to me about that and telling me I need to or telling us to get better in the way we serve but let's dig into the text before we get more into it so let's go talk about here let's go to Luke all right the seventh chapter all right Luke the seventh chapter verses two through seven and also we're going to talk about another verses as well for the hearing of the word of God. So I know you got your Bible. So take your time out right now. Get your Bibles together because I'm about to go into the word. Come on, Luke, the seventh chapter, verses two through seven. All right, come on. I know you can get it. I'm reading out of English standard version. So my word, it will be different from yours. So come on, get your Bible, get your Bible, get your Bible. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Also hit that like button, hit that share button right now because we are live right now on Facebook. Come on, hit that like button, hit that share button. All right, come on, I see y'all out there. I see you, I see you. Come on, bless you on today. Blessing to you. Yes, yes, blessings on to you. I'm speaking it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, hit that like button. All right. There, I hope everybody got it now. We're going to Luke, the seventh chapter, verse two through seven. Uh, and then we're going to read some more scripture as well as we dig into this text even more. All right. Come on. I hope no everyone got it. I'm reading for the English Standard Version. So, okay, I'm letting you know. I'm reading for the English Standard Version. So, and it says in verse number two, and it says, Now a Sorrentine man had a had a servant who was sick. And at the point of death, who was highly valued by him. When the Sorrentian heard about Jesus, he sent to him elders of the Jews. I, we're going to get talk about that, the elders of the Jews. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. The elders of the Jews asked him to come and heal his servant. Don't come and see about me. Come to see about my servant. Uh, we're going to talk about that too. Come on, let's keep on reading. Let's get reading. This is getting good. Now, verse number four, and it says, and when they came to Jesus, they plead with him earnestly, saying he is worthy to have you do this for him. The elders went to Jesus and said, he is an earnest man. He's a great man. It will be do so much good for him if you do this for him. Say, in other words, put it on his credit. His credit is good. Check your credit score. Check it. Check it. Check it. Is your credit good? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it later. Let's continue to talk about it in the text. For he loves our nation. He is the one who built us our synagogues. They're talking about the work that this man did. Let's continue to talk about Verse number six, and Jesus went with them. Jesus went with the elders. And when he was not far from the house, the Serentia sent his friends. He sent his friends, saying to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself. Oh, we're going to talk about that. He said, Lord, capital L, do not trouble yourself yourself for i am not worthy to have you come under my roof huh. I, I don't know about you but this right here just blessed me because there's been plenty of times where we should be in a position where we feel unworthy <laughs> y'all's missing y'all's missing it okay let's continue i'm getting too excited let's go let's go to into the text lord do not trouble yourself god hold up before you do, come to my house. Don't trouble yourself, because you know what? I'm not even worthy for you to be in the presence of me. I'm not even worthy to be in the presence of you. I'm not even worthy for you to come and see about my need. Oh, sorry. I'm got, oh, sorry, I got happy. I got I got happy right there. Oh, let's continue reading in this word. And he says, therefore, I did not presume to come to come to you, but say the word and let my servant be healed. That's verse number seven. Verse number seven, he said, therefore, I did not presume to uh, the presume that you were to come uh, to cook to come to you, but 
I say the word, but say the word and let my servant be healed. God, just say a word. Wherever you at, in the midst of your travel, just say a word. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting too happy. Uh, 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 let's end right there because I want to talk about this a little bit more for we can talk about this even more in detail because this is something that we all need to hear in this time, especially in the midst of all this. There is still a charge for us. So let's go ahead. Heavenly Father, oh God, we thank you on today for another chance, another opportunity. Lord, we bless you on today for all that you have done, for all that you are doing. Lord, we ask you right now, oh God, that you bless us accordingly to your word, oh God. Bless us, oh God, and to accordingly to your word, oh God. Bless us, God to accordingly of your word. When your word has says, oh God, that we are the head and not the tail, oh God, that we are going to be the lender and not the borrower, oh God, bless us according to your word, oh God. So God, we ask you right now, as we read this word, as we go involved in this word, as we dissect this word, oh God, as we go forth in this word, let this word be a revealing unto us, oh God, revelation to take place, oh God, production, a uh, production to take place in us, oh God, to go out and pro and go out and to plant more seed, oh God, to see the manifestation to take place according to your word. Lord, we bless you on today. We honor you on today. And God, we give you the glory and God, we give you the honor, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, I'm glad that you are still here. I'm, are you still here? Uh, I'm glad that you're still here and watching us as we go into this word. I would like to present to you today uh, for just the subject on just a few moments of your time. I would like to talk about my service paved the way. Mm. My service paved the way. Mm. I'm going to say it one more time. My service paved the way. Now, we're going to talk about this man who was uh, greatly appreciated, who was looked upon as a great man upon the Jews, a great man upon the city. This Serentian man, just to lay the context, uh, how did he hear about the uh, Lord Jesus? How did he hear about Jesus Christ uh, in chapter 6 in Luke? He was the man they heard and partake into some of the lessons that was taught uh, and down in Capernaum, and that he was there and bear witness to all the acts that Jesus was. And once he heard that Jesus was not that far off, he took it upon himself. I mean, like a lot of us, we, if we know that Jesus is near and when Jesus is near all of us all the time, we take, he took upon himself to seek after the Lord. This man I'm telling you about, this man talks about uh, uh, this man with no name because of some fact the Bible doesn't give the man a name like uh, many stories in the Bible, like the man by the pool of Bethesda, the woman with the issue of blood, just to name a few. The man with the no name became one of the greatest disciples that you ever seen in here in the context. And Jesus honored him. But let's, before we get into that, let's talk about more about this man, this man with no name. A lot of us, we get sh puffed up and shined up upon trying to make our names great in the church, making our name so great in traditional religion. We try to make our name great. This man did not seek that. This man did not seek after the glory. He did not seek after the fame. He did not seek after all the materialistic things and items that comes in today's culture. He didn't seek after none of those. This man did it out of the earnest of his heart. He talks, this man was the what, quote unquote, uh, 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 what we call today a true servant. All he wanted to do is to make sure his brothers and sisters and people in his community have what they need. And when I say what in his community, I mean people that were his enemies. I, I, I know I just lost half of you right there. His enemies, those that despise him, 
those that talked about him. You got to think about it. this man was so well known and so uh, uh, high, with high character and integrity where even the elders respected him and spoke highly of this man. You saw that in verse number, uh, you saw that in verse number, uh, 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 sorry, in verse number, uh, 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 verse number four, where they pleaded with him. But before we get there, let's talk about it in the text, because this man with no name, he had a name. His name was Servant. His name was Servant. Uh, and, you know, the Bible tells us uh, that when we get to, I'm just paraphrasing, uh, when we get to the day of judgment and he looks into the Lamb books of life and the only thing we want to hear is well done my faithful servant not my well done my faithful bishop or apostle or senator or governor or a police officer servant that's we talking about we talking about servitude we talking about servanthood what type of service are you paving the way for i know a lot of times we always we dealing with our own issues we dealing with our own struggles things that are are are, are, are are flipping us up on every side but there is still a service that you must render uh, I can contest, I can uh, uh, testify to this aspect alone about the service we must render. One thing I understand to realize, just to give a quick testimony upon, a lot of things that happened in my life, the, a lot of things that has transpired in my life, uh, the blessings that came upon my life, is through the service and the faithfulness I have for the community, for the body of Christ for the people of God. It's my service that paved the way to a lot of the things that gave me opportunities and blessings and uh, favor to uh, upon them. It was my service done those things. Here in the text, I just want to go back, just give you a quick background upon this man with no name. <laughs> uh, you should be happy right there because it's so fat. All that matters to me at the end of the day is, long as he said, well done, my faithful servant. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all that matters to me. But here in the text, in the context here, we see that in verse number two, where he had an issue, he had a concern about his servant. Back then, they had servants. They had people that aid them. They uh, 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 people of uh, um, when uh, one kingdom attacked another kingdom, and they became servants. So, in other words, it was still their enemies. His enemy was his servant, but he still took time and wanted to make sure he was okay because the service. Get this, the service that the servant rendered to him. He understood, uh, uh, the Serenity man understood, the man with no name, understood the protocol in verse number three. In verse number three, the Serenity man heard about Jesus and he said to him, the elders, the protocol he did was he established now, here's a point. Here's a point. You got to understand the protocol when you approach Jesus. Mm. You got to know how to approach him with the need. He knew that he couldn't go to him because of the fact the way he was taught and way, the way he talked he, and how he valued it. And he knew that he was Lord. And by that time, in that time, current time, he could not go to him himself. He knew that he had to go to his elders. He wanted to make sure he followed proper protocol. Look at the culture at the time. I understand a lot of us, we don't like to go through protocol or go through uh, the steps. But a lot of times there are certain things you must do before you get to this certain point in your life. There's certain actions that you got to go through. There's certain things that you got to 
do and perceive. It's the way you to get into the presence of God. There's certain things you have to do. A lot of times, a lot of times, a lot of us we forget when we are praying, we are uh, talking to our father that we must also let him know what is the things that we are dealing with. Say, hey, God, this is my prayer all the time. God, look, I know I'm a sinner. I'm messed up. I'm jacked up. I'm really toe up from the flow up, God. I'm really jacked up. But God, I know that you are a way maker. And I know you're the only way. God, I have this plea. I have this plea, God. I know I'm not worthy because all the stuff that I've done, all the hangups I have done, things I have done in my past, things I'm still dealing with currently, things that I'm dealing with, my own personal struggles, oh God. I know that I, I, I'm not even worthy of all this, but God, the service I render, can, can you use that for a moment? In verse number three, we see that he talks to the elders, the elders of elders of the Jews approach him, approach Jesus and ask him to come to see about his servant. Not about him, not about his wife, not about his kids, not about his job or his business. But God, I need you to not go see about those other needs that I have, things that I'm dealing with, but I need you to see about the one that is connected to me. Y'all catch that later. People are blessed because they are connected to you. I need you, that's a free one, okay? People that's in your circle right now, they are blessed because they are connected to you. But that's another point. We're going to talk about that later. Uh, that's something we will talk about at a later point in time. But number, verse number four, and when, G and, and when they came to Jesus, they pleaded with him earnestly, saying he is worthy to have you do this for him. I, I, I would like to just put this out there because it's a fact. Uh, one thing that we notice here in the context First of all, that he understood, he understood this. He is unworthy. Uh, uh, sorry, he understood that uh, 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 in this context where they were saying that he was, um, that he was uprightly and he was a just man and he done great things for the church. He did great things for the synagogue and uh, he under and that he 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 did all these things for the uh um, for the community and but i would like to suggest in the text later on if because of so fact the reason why i would like to suggest this because uh that this man didn't care about that he didn't he didn't care about none of that what he did he didn't need the elders to tell them about his resume or things that he already done. I look what I did. I post on Facebook. You see me, God. I put look, look at me, God. I'm taking pictures. I take pictures. Look what I did, God. I bless. I gave money to the homeless and I did this and I did that. Taking a picture of that. No, no. He he didn't want them to do that. He did not ask them to do that. He all he wanted them to do is just go and ask if Jesus will come and see about his servant. Uh, 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 here in the text, I would like to say that this man right here didn't want that to happen. A lot of times when, uh, uh, <laughs> I would like to say this, people try to blow you up and, and everything and you, you're you not looking for that. You're not looking for acknowledgements. You're not looking for recognition. You're not looking for none of those things. You're not looking for a hey, look at me, What look what I did. You're just doing because of the service that you have in your heart, the, the way you want to serve people and the way you have the love for people and the way you have love for others. I'm here just to tell you and remind you on today that your service is going to pave the way for you. He's going to pave a way for your blessing. He's going to pave a way 
for your increase. But let's talk about a little bit more because the simple fact this man with the no name, the Sorrenti man who done great things in his community, who asked the elders who follow the protocol, talk to the elders to go to approach Jesus and tell Jesus to come to see about his servant that it was sick, that was on his deathbed. And then now we find ourselves in verse, uh, 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 verse number six, where uh, a verse number six, where Jesus went with them and he was not that far from the house. I would like to suggest to you just a point and paint a picture to you. Uh, let's say uh, uh, you're on uh, you're on Puritan. You're on Puritan and Livinois, okay? Uh, and uh, I'm telling you the, uh, just giving you a background or just, uh, just paint this picture for you because uh, you're on Puritan and Livinois. Jesus is on eight miles. No, let's take that back. Jesus is on, yeah, let's say on eight mile, okay? He's on his way to you because of the fact the elders came. They they pleaded the case for you or pleaded for you, uh, uh, which y'all need to catch that later because there are going to be some people that's going to put, uh, blow your name up and put you in position and put you in the, a uh, spotlight where all eyes is on you. So get ready for that. That's a free one. That's another one. That's a free one. Look at that. Look at God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, 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 and they did all these things uh, to get Jesus to come and they on their way. Okay. You're a parenting. Jesus is on eight mile. All right. So Jesus is on his way. So you decide, you say, you know what? In the midst of all of this, what's going on? You know what? I'm looking at the situation. I'm looking and I'm analyzing and I'm thinking about the teaching. The teaching that Jesus does done got done doing in chapter six. I'm thinking about all the things that he talked about. And I'm hearing about all the acts that he's done. You know what? Hey, I, I rescind it. Hey, I rescind, Lord. You know what? Don't come. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't, you know what, Lord, forget it. Don't, I'm not even worthy for you to be in my house. I'm not even worthy. Uh, I, 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 I realize that I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm worthy for you to be in my house. And I, 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 I'm not, I, I'm not even, uh, uh, even just for you to even come uh, to my household and see about my servant because of so fact. God, you're, you're, you're too busy. I, I know you got things, other things to do, but this is what I do need you to do, Lord. If it's in your, if, you know, if you, you know, if you feel like it, Lord, can you just send the word? Because I believe if you just send the word that he's going to be healed. A lot of times in a lot of seasons, like right now, this season that we're in right now, all we need is a word. Mm, guys missed it. All you need in this time, in the midst of your circumstance, is the God to send a word to your situation. Mm. All you need to do is just allow God to speak to that situation. A lot of times, a lot of situations, we have the power and authority because God gave us the power of life and death in the tongue, right? Come on, Bible believers. We have the ability to speak to the situation. How do I know? Because God says in his, in, in his word that we should do greater works in him. And he gave us the ability in his word, a power of life and death in the tongue. Y'all was missing it. Y'all was missing it. Yeah, I hope that you're liking this. Again, hit that like button. Hit that share button. Come on, start a watch party right now. Come on now. Look, my service paved the way. Uh, the second thing he understood, the lordship of Christ. Okay? First, he realized he's unworthy. Second thing he understood that uh, uh, the lordship of Jesus Christ. He believed that Jesus could do anything he wanted. He believed that he had control over creation. Lord, I am 
not worthy to have you enter my home. That's to his words. Faith is missing. Listen to this, all right? I wrote this down. I want y'all to make sure you get this, okay? Get this, all right? Faith is missing when we try to make take matters into our hands. When we coward in fear. When we go our own way. Again, you ready? Faith is missing when we try to take things in our own hands. How many times have you done that? I'll wait. How many times you say, you know what? I, I Wait, I'm not even going to go to you, Lord, because I got this one. I got this. I'm going to take care of this. The Bible tells us the battle is the Lord's. The battle is the Lord's. Everything that you're facing, you got to understand and realize you must go to God about. What are you talking about, preacher? Remember, uh, 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 we talked about this before, early in the month of September. Uh, uh, we talk about moments of crisis, and we talk about how David in First Samuel uh, uh, chapter number thirty, how David encouraged himself. But David did a couple of things. He followed the protocol. One, David went. Okay, he went uh, 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 to go prayer. Actually, he went to go get his ephod. Okay. Then he went to go prayer. Then he asked Jesus. He, then he asked God, "Shall I pursue them? Should I overtake thee?" A lot of times when we're facing a lot of things, we're trying to deal, or uh, we're trying to uh, 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 try not to bother people, or God is saying, "Not to, you know, you're not bothering me. I want to know, for I can fix it. Because all right, you fix it if you just let me in." Again, and with the story of David, David went to uh, God and asked him for, uh, "Should I take them? Should I pursue them? And uh, should I take them?" And God answered immediately and said, "You shall take them and recover all." I need you to drop that in your spirit right there, right there, pin it right here. I shall recover all. Everything that you have lost this season, everything that you have rendered this season, all the service, all the things, the people you help, everything that you have lost is pouring out, like people that owe, that owe you money, that you lend money to, uh, 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 People that um from jobs that uh, never paid you your vacation pay or uh, or uh, gave you the right amount or your or, or the people uh, at your job that didn't give you that pay raise. I'm telling you right now that you shall recover all because your service that you render, your service puts you in positions where you get favored. Your service paved the way where you shall get double. Your service puts you in position where God just had to open the doors of, uh, of heaven and uh, open the windows and uh, let the floodgates of heaven fall down upon you. And wherever you go, the service. Faith is missing when we try to take matters into our hands. When we cower in fear. When we go on our own way, we learn this in the text. Faith please Christ. And we and I'm gonna say the scripture, a lot of y'all's probably don't know this, but you know this without faith is impossible. I'm talking about impossible to please God. It's impossible. If you don't have faith. It's impossible to please him. Your praise doesn't matter. Because mm. the Bible tells us that everything that have breath, praise the Lord. The birds has to praise God because they have breath. The squirrels, the brown ones, the black ones, and the gray ones, they have breath. They praise God. I don't like squirrels. Oh, look, 
if you're a homeowner, you know what I'm talking about. Squirrels get in your house. It's terrible. Anyway, in your garage, whatever. But that's a whole other subject. The Bible tells us that everything that have breath, praise the Lord. You remember also in the Bible where he talked about, if the people don't praise me, I shall make these rocks praise me. Everything that God creates is going to praise him. But the thing that a lot of us miss is when we lose faith, then we put ourselves out of position to please him. Mm. I'll catch you later. You catch it later. I promise you. You catch it later. I promise you. Okay? You get that. It's impossible to please God. How is our faith secured? How is our faith secured? Romans 10 and 17 says, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. I'm going to say it again. So Romans 10 and 17. So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? That's the word. I'm just, I'm, we just walk in the word. We just walk in the word. The same man, he understood the pro car. He understand that the, all the things that he had done for the community, all that mess didn't barely matter. He understood that, uh, 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 that he's not even worthy to be even how allow Jesus to come to his house. Uh, he understood that. He understood that uh, the Lord, uh, 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 Lord God, he, he he's he could be out there doing anything else, but he's coming to see me about my situation, my need that I have for my servant. Not me personally that I'm dealing with, not my illness, not my hangups, but someone that is connected to me. People, I'm telling you, I need y'all to catch that. The people that's connected to me is going to be blessed. Anyway, anyway, let's keep continuing to go. Faith begins from taking the word of God. Faith comes or begins by hearing the word of God. Are you advancing your faith by taking in God's word through Bible study? Reading your road on word daily, being involved in the church through prayer. Again, Romans 10 and 17, where it says, So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Second Timothy 3 and 15. Come on, Second Timothy 3 and 15. And it says, How from childhood you have been. Uh, uh, adequated with uh, with the scars writing, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ. All scriptures are brethren out by God and are profitable for teaching and for reproving, for correction, for training, for righteousness. Verse number uh, 17, it says, talk about that the man of God may be uh, compliant and equipped for every day's work. That's Second Timothy, verse number, uh, chapter number three, verse fifteen through seventeen. And I want to just end with this because it's so fat. Spend a little bit too much time on here. I hope that this word been a blessing unto you. Uh, I understand uh, that now we are at the pandemic, at the climax of this of the situation. In verse number seven. Uh, where Jesus, now where the man said, Lord, don't trouble yourself for I am not worthy and have your, uh, to have you come under my roof. Therefore, I do not pursue to warn you to come, but just say a word and let my servant be healed. Verse number eight, it doesn't really describe that Jesus was in such a shock and amaze in verse number eight. But verse number nine and 10, I hope you still get your Bibles open. This is where everything uh, uh, shift is because I got a question for you, uh, Bishop. I got one for you because I, I, I didn't see it in the text. Okay, I didn't see it in the text. I I promise you, I did not see it in the text, Bishop. Okay, here we go. 
verse number nine, preachers, I hope you get this. All right, all right everybody, I, I know I, scholars get this. All right, here we go. All right, verse number nine, it says, when Jesus heard these things, he was marveled at, the, at him. And he turned to the crowd and said, a crowd that was following him and said, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. Verse number 10. All right. I never found such faith. I want the faith of this man, this no name man. I want the faith of him. I'm telling you, I never found in Israel, I never found such faith. Verse number 10. And it says, and when those who had been sent returned to the house, People, they, his friends, he sent to them and say, hey, tell Jesus don't come. Those people. And tell, he sent his boys, you know. He sent Lacey. He sent Brother Darius. He sent Brother Josh. He sent, uh, 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 he sent Brother Derek. He sent uh, 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 um, Brother Clifford. He sent all Brother Ernest. He sent all the brothers, all his friends, all the people that he's close to. He sent them and said, you know, uh, they went off and said, came back. And when they came back to the house, that's what they found the servant well. Now I gotta come close because this is like this is where it blew my mind. Where did Jesus say the servant is healed? I'll wait. I'll wait. Did y'all see that in the text anywhere? Where did he say he's healed? The servant is healed. All he said in verse number nine, you get it. All he said is in the B portion where he says, I tell you not, even in Israel have I found such faith. That's all he said. The no name, the no name man just said, say a word. Jesus didn't say a word. He just said, I never saw it. He, he just said, I never saw such faith like this before in all of Israel. I never seen. It. I never. I'm, I'm mind blown. I never seen this. He said he believed me. In, he believed in me that much where all I had to do is say a word, and Jesus never said the word. He never said the word. He never said, "Servant, you are healed." He never said to his friends to go back and tell them that his friend is healed because when they came back they realized that the servant was healed. Mm. I'm telling you, that was mind-blowing to me. I was like, oh, God, you, you, oh, Jesus, you a bad man. But I'm here to tell you it was the faith of this no, no man. Remember I said, without faith, it's impossible to please God. So I'm here to tell you and remind you that your service that you render is important. But your faith in him, your faith in him is equal to this point. I don't care what you see, what you hear on TV. I don't care what Trump says. I don't care what Pitt says. I don't care what the Congress say or what your job is saying. I don't care what your landlord is saying. I'm here to tell you, you must believe God in this season. We walk by faith and not by sight. Close your eyes. This is the part right here where you said, Jesus, take the wheel. This is it. I trust you wholeheartedly, God. Take the wheel. It's all yours. Have your way, God. Because I can't do nothing. Honestly, I can't. Only you can do this. Only you can change America. Only you can change what's going on in our states. Only you can change what's going on in my household. Only you can heal me, oh God. Only you can only bless my hands, oh God. Only you can bless my business, oh God. Only you can bless my works at uh in school, oh God. Only you can restore things in my family. Only you can do this, God. Only you. So I pray that this word has been a blessing unto you. Thank you for spending your time with us here at Word Restoration Ministries. Again, I'm asking for you to take a moment of your time 
if this word has been a blessing unto you, please sow a seed right now. Sow a faith seed right now. I know what you're dealing with. Because we are dealing with it. I know you got the bills. I know things are piling up and things. You're still waiting on that stimulus check. But God says I'm better than the stimulus checks. The name above all names. I need you to sow a seed right now. You can go to uh, Cash App and sow at uh, uh, money sign 313WRM. Or you can go on to Giveify and sow at Word Restoration Ministries in Detroit, Michigan. Okay, that's important. In Detroit, Michigan on Giveify. Or you can mail it to the church. One of the trustees would take care of that. The address to the church is 3310 Puritan, Detroit, Michigan, 48238. Again, 3310 Puritan, Detroit, Michigan, 48238. Dress it to Word Restoration Ministries. Sow your tithes. Be faithful to your tithes. Be committed could be committed to the service that you render. I'm telling you the service that you render, I guarantee you is gonna pave way for you. So as we get ready to go, let's end with prayer. Heavenly Father, oh God, we thank you on today, oh God, for what you have done, for what you have said. Lord, we thank you for the word, oh God, allowing us to walk your word, precept upon precept, line upon line. Lord, we thank you, oh God. So God, we ask you right now for every word that's been uh, poured out, oh God. Lord, let us receive it and be producers of your word, oh God. Let us activate your word in this season, oh Lord. Let us apply your word in this season, oh God. Let us speak your word in this season, oh God. Let us trust you even the more in this season, oh God. We bless you on today, oh God. We honor you, O oh God, and God, we give you the glory and honor and praise, O oh God, because you God, you are worthy to be praised. We bless you and honor you. We magnify you, God, because you are about to do something miraculous for those, O oh God, that is seeking you digitally, O oh God. So we honor you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray that this word be a blessing unto you. Until next time, it's your boy. Your friend, your servant, Elder C.T. Honey, Jr., Aware of Restoration Ministries. I greet you nothing but love you. Peace, peace be easy on, on your way. <laughs> you remember this word? Bless you on today. Bless you on today. Bless you, Mother Ron. Bless you, Brother Clifford. Bless you, Ernest. Bless you, Sister Kim. Bless you, Sister Kim Burst. Bless you, Bishop. Bless you, Sister Toy. Bless you, Sister Nicole. Bless you, Evangelist Kyle. Bless you, Joshua. Bless you, uh, Joshua Young. Bless you on today, Nakia. Bless you, Minister Londaris. Bless you, uh, Minister Brandy Poole. Bless you, Sam. Bless, bless you, Alize. Bless you, Gerald. Bless you, Anthony. Bless everyone at Word Restoration Ministries. Can't wait to see you next time.